Uh, I was in one of our elder meetings at my church, and there was a huge complaint coming about the new uh, school curriculum. People were upset about the new library books. They were upset about the curriculum. They were upset about the things they were forcing teachers to do. And, and the whole church was in an uproar over this. And I'm sitting here looking at this, and I'm going, I said, I, I got some questions. Okay, it's obvious that, yeah, we need to make an impact on this. How many people voted in the last school, election, school board election? Nobody knew, so we did some research. We found out that in the last school board election, only 3,000, about 3,000 people voted in it. I said, how many people in our church are registered to vote? We had over 4,000 people in our church who were registered to vote. I said, you want to change the curriculum? Let's put up our candidate and let's all show up and vote next year and the school board will be ours and we can choose what is being taught in our schools. Guess what? The school board changed next year and the curriculum got changed and the library list got changed. You see, we can make a difference, but we have to choose to make a difference. And then we have to make a plan to make a difference. And then someone has to execute that plan. Before the school board election, we had people on the phones calling every church member saying, remember, we're going to vote in the school board this year, and here are our candidates. And we got in there and we changed. And boy, you want to know, people were upset about us taking over the school board. The next year, over 10,000 people voted in the school board election. <laughs> Other people got a plan, but guess what? Then it became the right kind of school board. It represented the whole community. It didn't bother me that we lost school board members. It excited me that more people were taking part of the process and getting engaged in the process. And see, we want to shy away from this kind of stuff. Don't. What percentage of the population votes in any election? Anybody got an idea? 3%, 4%, depends on whether it's a local or national election. I mean, I'm excited all the stuff with Obama and Clinton and, and McCain. The exciting thing is I think we're going to have a record turnout for the vote this year. And we're going to have a record spread. Usually who votes? Old fogies like us. Or I should like, like me. <laughs> but I looked out there, there's a lot of old fogies here. But there's a scattering of young guys. Who's going to vote this year? Everybody, all age groups. I'm excited. It, it, it's a country of the government by the people and for the people. I'm excited. 